Hello everyone, and welcome to Sober October. A uh, bit of a quick one today, there won't be any actual drinking, but I'm here in Yongdung Po, and uh, well, you can see, what, 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 what is this? So, we're here in Yongdung Po Park, and this is the site of the first ever beer brewery factory. You'll see a picture of it in a second, you can call it a factory, in Korea. It was 1933, and this site now, where the park is, was the OB Brewery. Uh, back then, it would have been a Japanese company, I imagine. Uh, I don't have any facts on that, but any brewery, factory, business of that size in that era, it's safe to assume this is a Japanese endeavor. I, I, imperial, I imperial company. Yeah. yeah, I can't imagine there were a lot of Koreans opening factories of this size. So, what we have here, and it's not quite clear from the signage here, whether it's a mash tun, a fermenter, or a kettle. Uh, one says that it's a fermentation vessel, and then if you translate it to the other sign, it says, this was used for boiling and fermenting the barley and hops, which doesn't make any sense. But, there it is. This is all that remains now. Uh, so, Yongdung Po Station's just over there. And if you come over this way on the sign, I can show you a picture of what the factory actually looks like. Uh, it's pretty damn big. Um, we're talking about the first brewery in the country. Now, this could be a second iteration. It's not quite certain what year this is. But uh, you can see here, this would have been Yongdung Po Station. Hmm. And this is the park that we're in now. Um, so, fair size, yeah. So, the barley and stuff must have come in from Incheon, probably. This direction, hmm. dropped off here, put into the beer, yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, this is all that remains, this giant pot. Shout out to Tom Smith. He made a post a while ago, uh, or a video? Maybe it was a video. Anyway, he talked. This is the only reason I know this is here. Tom, <laughs> hi, if you're watching, you better be. Um, but yeah, if you want to come do a pilgrimage to Korean beer culture and the start of it all, that's 91 years ago. Um, here we go. Paying my respects to the start of Korean beer. Tom <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I had to guess, they must have brought over some brewers from Japan, either from Sapporo or Asahi or Suntory, you know, name the brewery in Japan, but I imagine they brought over some guys, set up shop here, and then trained everyone on how to do what. Yeah. Right. These are the traps, right? Trap doors. This, I, don't think, you I don't think this is a fermentation vessel, because this would be to check the boil. Or check the mash. So it's like a mash. So I, I, I don't know, but I'm going to guess this is not a fermentation vessel. Pretty this, big though, right? This, Size, this could right? be a kettle because you'd want to open that and put the hops in at certain points, right? Mm. So my educated guess is that this is for the boil, but I can't be certain. So guess all the all this park where the former uh, brewery works, right? Which is pretty big, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this isn't a huge park by park standards, but as far as like... It's a fair size, and as far as factories go, yeah, fair size, definitely. All right, see you guys for the next adventure in Korea. All right, see you that guys. That said, they would have had makgeolli for and soju for. Don't move, sparrows. Okay. Are they? <laughs> okay. Are we good? <laughs> 